In this video, I wanted to show you how to apply some special effects like this gradient that's shown in this image and adding this text road trip and then also the text Miles Bring Smiles is actually an overlay that I created in PicMonkey. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So once you have the photo that you want to use and you're in the layers panel, let's start with our first text layer which was called Road Trip. So just click the text tool and just click anywhere where you want to start your text and it creates this text box and it also automatically creates the layer. So just click on your text box and drag it and we can always make it bigger if it's not big enough. And then just uh, make sure that you have your font size, your text color, and whether you want a border or a shadow, and your font. So I'm just going to accept all these defaults and let me put that back to 700. Okay, we'll try 500. And then just click the checkbox to accept it and we need to move it. Well, we'll put it right there. I do want this a little bigger though, so just click and drag and highlight it. And I'm going to manually type in 700. And click the checkbox. I'm going to put it right there. And then the next thing we want to do is go to Pick Monkey and create the second layer. So I'm going to go to Pick Monkey and I'm already signed in. And you don't have to have an account, you can use this, it's free. And then click the text tool. and choose your font and again we can change this as well I don't remember what font I used hmm. so add your text and it creates this text box and then just start typing so I chose sketch block for the font so I've typed out miles and then just duplicate this, right click and duplicate it and drag it and we're, and just type smiles. Miles brings smiles. Whoops. And then we want to curve this first one. So highlight it and then go to effects and then curve and then shape and then arc make it bigger, click and drag. And again, with this one, only this time we're going to curve it the opposite way. So we want it cur to curve the same percentage. That's why I went back up to miles to check on that. So 50%. So we want them to be the same. And then we want to type the word brings. So we need to add text again to create another text box and then just type bring, but we're going to change the font on this one and we're going to change it to a different one. Let's see, what did I use? So I chose the font blackjack for the word brings. Just make that a little bit bigger.
and that looks good. And then we want to click here on basic edits and choose crop. And just change this crop box so that it only has your miles and miles bring smiles. We don't need to make the canvas any bigger. And then choose apply. And then export. And then just name your file. So I'm just going to name it Miles Bring Smiles and I'm going to save it as a PNG rather than a JPEG. And then just click export to computer. And then come back to Photo Director and come up to the Layer Manager and add a new layer and add a photo layer. And then just find your file that you just saved at Mucky. And here's the file, Miles Bring Smiles. Let's double click it. And then we're going to need to resize it because it's really big. We'll just click and drag on the corner and then just move it. That looks good. And then let's bring the opacity down a bit on this road trip. So click onto it and then just change the opacity a little bit to about there. And let's duplicate this layer, Miles Bring Smiles. I want it a little bit darker. So right click and choose duplicate layer and then just change the blend mode on it. So it is, I want it a little bit darker or maybe brighter. But you can play with it and decide how you like it. I'm going to leave it on hard light. And then the last thing that we want to do is add our gradient. So click on the background and then click on the layer manager and choose add empty layer. And make sure you're on that new empty layer. And then come up here to the gradient tool. And Make your opacity pretty low, so it defaulted to 8. And then we want to change this style. We want to make sure it's on foreground to transparent, and then click reverse, and make sure that this is black to white. And then make sure the gradient type is on angle gradient. And then we're just going to click in the, in the middle somewhere, or wherever you choose. And then just drag it. You don't have to drag it very far so that it's something like that. And then if you want to merge all these layers, just right click and merge all. Or if you want to save this as a template so that you can use these layers in another project, you can just click save to and save as an express template and then that is where you're going to name it. It'll look like that. So you have to fill out every one of these boxes. And that's it. I hope you like this video.